Welcome to the Wadwani Institute of Technology and Policy Video Case Study Series. Today we present to you Crop Monitoring by the Use of Drones. Regular use of crops is done by farmers to detect any potential threats such as diseases, pests, and a slow rate of growth. The traditional forms of monitoring crops were visual inspection and collecting ground samples manually. Drone technology seems to be a great way to regulate crop health, crop treatment, and crop scouting in scientific and process-driven method. Initially, the drone was developed as a military tool and was given different names, such as unmanned aerial vehicle, UAV, miniature pilotless aircraft, or flying mini robots. Today we can use them in soil and field analysis and crop monitoring in agriculture. Studies show that the health of crops is impacted and hampered their optimal yield and productivity. Nearly 15% to 25% of the potential crop production is lost due to pests, weeds and diseases. Farm mechanization has the potential to enhance agriculture. So, what are the key challenges faced with the difficult and time-taking process of manual crop spraying? Number 1. Lack of expertise in regular crop monitoring and disease control. Number 2. Inaccurate data collection for required farming information also leads to slow decision-making. Number 3. Delayed identification of damages at an early stage due to pests, diseases and weeds in crops. Number 4. Lack of soil analysis knowledge leads to poor nutrition of crops. Number 5. High cost and time taking for manual planting of seeds and dependency on availability of labor. Number 6. Danger of livestock entering into the farm land. What approach can we have to overcome this difficulty and time taking manual crop spraying? Through drones, crop spraying can be at least five times faster than manual labor, and drones with RGB sensors and multispectral sensors can precisely identify problematic areas. There is a lack of expertise, hence it is crucial to track the health of the vegetation and spot bacterial or fungal plagues in their early stages. Often, we receive inaccurate data, hence these drones are fitted with sensors that are able to measure specific wavelengths of light that are absorbed and reflected by plants, which leads to the generation of color-contrasted images. How does crop monitoring and analysis work? Number 1. By analyzing the area, drones equipped with different types of sensors, like RGB, multispectral, NIR, and hyperspectral sensors, for various purposes help to collect aerial data. Number 2. By generate maps, navigation systems, GPS, HQ, cameras. Number 3. By analyzing images, these images, are further analyzed to find out accurate information about plants and their growth stages to identify any abnormalities and classify them using various algorithms. Number 4. By crop monitoring and analysis, as a result, farmers get detailed reports of their fields and actionable steps. Number 5. By automated infected spot by leaving other part infected. Some of the key benefits of this are precision farming using drones can double farmers income drones use the maps to distribute the appropriate amount of fertilizer in each crop zone leading to a 20 percent reduction in fertilizer use and 13 to 14 percent increase in protein yield it helps in decreasing in poverty levels drones have the potential to increase the yields of the harvest by reducing crop damage it has a cloud-based system to get data like weather possible soil quality and commodity prices. Its smartphone-based drone technology control with a tap and extract data for immediate reports generation. The adoption of drone technologies across India will have far-reaching impact for the growth of the Indian economy and its people. It can result in the increase in agricultural production using drones boosted rural incomes while also causing food prices to fall. With increase in yield of agriculture, the associated industries with sector will benefit directly increase in production and create more employment opportunities in the country. Savings in pesticides to the extent 
savings in water up to 90%, spray 30 times faster, and covers a larger area than traditional knapsack sprayers, reduces cost of spraying by 97%. So this video case study on crop monitoring by the use of drones has not only given us so many different staggering results, but also many reason for us to adapt it. Hope you enjoy this video. Thank you for watching this video and stay tuned for our next in the video case study series.